Hey guys, welcome back to Fiscal Voyage. My name is Felix, and today's video we're going to talk about a recent buy uh, that I did on Friday. And this purchase was a AI, quote unquote, AI stock, which, um, you know, is, is the new big thing right now. Uh, AI with the NVIDIA, AMD, uh, Supermicro uh, uh, Computers, and a bunch of other companies that's focusing on AI. And uh, I, you know, want a piece of it as well, because I, I also believe that AI is the future and it's just gonna continue to be more AI uh, centric. So, and when I saw, you know, I was watching this stock for a while and I had an opportunity to buy at a lower price, but I didn't pull it because I thought it was gonna go lower. But then I saw a video that uh, Chuck Carnival did, the co-founder of FastGraph here, about Super Microcomputer, and this is a stock that I purchased also. You know, I watched the video, and make sure to subscribe to his channel, FastGraphs. I use the FastGraph all the time and love it. And I use it for almost eight years, I think, I've been using it, and, and it's been great. And But Super Microcomputer, you know, he covered it, and I was watching this stock before this video, and I actually had an opportunity to buy it around uh, $400, but I didn't do it because I thought it was gonna go lower and I'll show you in a technical uh, form uh, why I thought it was gonna go lower. And I still think it may go lower, uh, but I was like, you know what? Let me just buy a few shares. So if we go to my interactive broker account, here it is here. I bought three shares in total and uh, it was at the same time, but um, they filled it out in different orders. Uh, and I also bought um, MGA, uh, I'd make another video on that. Uh, 30 shares here, but I only bought three shares of SMCI, Super Microcomputer, uh, kind of like a starter position because I still think it might go lower, uh, and I'll show you why technically. I still think it might go lower, but I, you know, you're never 100% sure. So I was like, you know, it's still a good price. Let me buy a few shares to be part of the the game here of uh, Super Microcomputer. And I, and you know, if you watch the video of uh, Chuck Carnival, he goes in detail on why. He actually owns shares as well at a higher price, but still why he bought shares and why he likes the company. And I'm gonna do kind of the same thing and show why I like the, the why I like the company uh, from my perspective as well. So and with FastGraph, you can see here that it's basically on the value or fairly valued based on FastGraph. You know, you see here it has a, a blending P of 18.4 and a normal multiple around 15 over the past uh, seven years. So looking at this, it looks fairly value, but this is the kicker here, these growth. This growth is what drove, you know, Carnival, uh, Chuck Carnival interest and my interest as well. And you can see here, uh, you can have almost 20% annual rate of return if it just stays at a multiple of 15, right? If it just stays on a multiple of 15, you can have almost, you know, 24, 23% growth or you know, if this multiple, because normally growth is supposed to equal the multiple. So if it company and, and analysts are expecting uh, this company to grow around 32% long-term, 70%, which is uh, extremely high, but let's say 30%. So if this stock is supposed to grow 30% for the next, you know, say five, six years, it should be around here. You know, $1,300, $1,600 worth of shares so i'm thinking man i want to be a part of that and you know i was watching this company too but i didn't pull the trigger when it hit 400 dollars again i'll show you why again uh why i didn't buy at 400 dollars i bought at, as you saw here 438 um but it's only a thousand like a thousand three hundred dollars worth of shares so only three shares but if it goes to around uh 400 or 350 uh, I'm gonna buy a lot more but uh, so let's look at some other things here um, in Morningstar here this is what I like debt to equity only 0 0.37 so 0 0.04 which is real good interest coverage amazing um, it is if you look at it here historically it is overvalued uh, price to sell currently at 1.84 versus a five-year average of 0 0.6 uh, earnings yields you see here higher than the five-year average uh, price to book is higher than the five-year average. So this is higher, but what change? What change is this earnings growth? You know, 128%, 100%, 87%, you know, this huge earnings growth and, and continue earnings growth. 
So that's what kind of change uh, for super microcomputer. And that's why I bought shares of this. And we go to forecasting, even with a normal multiple, we go here, let's pick a high one here, 29. You can see here, you know, if it stays at 29, you could have a 55% annual rate of return for the next uh, three years. So that's out outstanding. So I'm willing to take the risk at this current price. And again, there's only three shares, you know, like $1,200, $1,300 worth. And it's not gonna go to zero, the stock, but it could go lower and I'll show you why. And I'm, if it does go lower, I will be buying more. Um, so let's look at some more things first. Uh, CFRA has it a, a three-star hold rating. You can see here price for your 12-month uh, price target at $454. Uh, currently is trading for 453 so kind of right at their 12 month target and but this is what I like here also fair value calculation at $800 so is uh, they give it as uh, undervalued currently and you can see here uh, price to sell has been increasing here from 2021 to 2024 from 0.53 to 3.3 .3 price to sell that's because of the price increase um, but also you can see here net income growth has been outstanding year over year 88 percent net income growth year over year sales has increased over 100 percent so th that's what's going on here with uh super microcomputer so and yahoo also uh yahoo and super microcomputer you can see here they have a five-year growth on earnings 62 percent and again i'm not even expecting 62 percent I'm expecting 25, 30%, 20%, and you're still doing great at the current price. So that's why I decided to uh, put my toes in before I jump in is to buy more shares. And you can see here earnings for 2024 expected to be $5.78 uh, for, well, that's what um, history here. What's the da, 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 projection? $8.07. Um, the trend here for 2025. $33.91 and the next year $44.12 so earnings increasing that's what we like to see earnings continue to increase and they're expecting the next five year earnings to increase at 62% and if we look here they have a price target of $800 so basically double more or less double of what it is now so you can see here a lot of buy rating for this stock and now we go to the technical chart here of super micro computers you can see here this is why I thought I was waiting because of this right here let me draw this for you here I was expecting this to hit support and it kind of got there around that three it's got as low as uh, 382 but I was interested in buying this $400 area kind of like just to tip my toes in but I still think it will hit this $350 area. This is why I want to buy it. You know, I'll buy like maybe uh, six more shares, you know, maybe 10 more shares at this price point because of this support here. Because what would happen is, uh, for those, those who know it's technical, is this will create a buy setup. It might be performing right now to then take this stock higher. It may be forming a buy setup right now. Who knows? That's why I decided, you know what, let me buy some shares. I'm actually up around uh five percent right now or four percent or something like that right now which is you know okay it's good but i prefer to go further down so i could load up on this stock around that 350 uh area and you and and this shows perfectly why i kind of expected for this to hit this area and it kind of did again you know it hit it went as down as low as 382.80 and you know i didn't i was about to pull the trigger that 400 hundred dollar area but i didn't you know, looking back, I should have done the same thing, just tip my toes in to kind of get in. And, but I was just trying to time the market, you know, but you know, I still got in, you know, pretty decent price. You know, I didn't get up, get in all the way up here and, and I had to suffer through this uh, pullback. But again, this is why I like it right here. This buy setup, this was resistance. And then now hopefully it becomes support to take this stock much higher. And why would it go higher? because of the earnings expectation because of the earnings that the company is projected to make and if they make those earnings this stock will go higher because of that you know prices follows earnings uh, eventually you know it'll, it'll fluctuate you know every day 
every year fluctuate but if earnings the company continues to increase earnings it will follow the price will follow that earnings and that's what i'm trying to ex um, i'm expecting here and i will be buying more if it gets into that 350 area 380 uh 380 350 uh, area i will be buying more shares and you know I, it'd be cool if you guys join me as well so that's why i bought shares of super microcomputers um if you look also on the three months chart here you know this coincide almost with this uh moving average i think if it stays here for a little bit the moving average would come here it'll hit it and then takes it up above on the three month uh 13 moving average there and if we look here here's a better picture on the weekly you can see this was resistance 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 and normally when resistance is broken it then becomes support so it needs to retest this resistance and when it retests this is what i'm be buying and now if it and if, re, if it retests and fails goes lower I'm gonna be buying more in this area, this $200 area, and I'll be buying more. Again, you know, by that time, more earnings report will be reported. Um, the expectation, we'll see more of this AI, uh, you know, market growing and understanding it more. And at that point, you know, $300 is gonna look amazing, $200, amazing. So this is why I bought shares of this company. You know, I, I hopefully it does go lower, like I said, I, I expected to get to that uh, 250, uh, three, 350, 380 again. Hopefully it retests and I could buy more shares. So again, this is why I like it. And this is why, you know, I bought it. And Chuck Carnival also, I watched his video and I was like, you know what? Let me just buy a few shares as a, a tippy toe in, you know, put my, my, my tippy toe into the pool. And then if it gets lower, I'm gonna buy more and if it doesn't you know i and it goes higher from here oh well i have a few shares i'm in it not not as much as i would like but i am in it and and i just hold it until i find a better price so thank you guys for watching if you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and if you like this video make sure to hit the like button uh for more videos like this and thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next one